Hello everybody and happy happy holidays. I cannot believe Christmas is only a few days away. It's literally just completely mind boggling to me. Um, but I'm so excited because I'm such a Christmas person. I'm like that person that just loves, loves the holidays. Um, I'm really excited because I actually just asked you guys on Instagram whether or not you wanted me to show you an easy holiday hair, makeup, and outfit, just like overall look for the holidays. Um, since assuming a lot of us won't be traveling, won't be, you know, going to crazy parties or anything, most of us are gonna be home. So there's no reason that if you're home, you can't still, you know, dress up, have a fun outfit, do something fun and different with your hair and makeup, um, just anything. I think the holidays is a good opportunity to kind of experiment, do something more fun, maybe play with the eyes, maybe do a lip, um, but also just something that's like appropriate for your house. You don't wanna go too crazy. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I'm gonna do a whole look. Please ignore my skin, it's been horrible lately. I'm just, don't even get me started. So this will be like a covering acne slash holiday look for you guys. Um, so yeah, let's just dive right in. Okay, so I always like to start my look with con or concealer primer, uh, especially now that I have acne. It's really important that you prime your skin. You don't want anything soaking into those pores. A little trick that I have been doing is, I'll show you. I have been powdering my face after primer. So I've primed powder, now a setting spray. I just learned this on TikTok and I feel like my foundation sits so much better after I do that. Okay, so next up I'm gonna do foundation. I'm using the Chanel Moisture Rich Radiance Sunscreen Fluid Makeup. So it's got SPF in it, which you don't necessarily need for nighttime, but let me see. I'm gonna start with a foundation brush, and then I'm just going to buff all over my skin. I like to go a little bit darker than my skin tone because I feel like I use it as like a salt tanner. Um, see how, see the difference? <laughs> just a lot glowier. Adds a little tint to my skin when I'm feeling a little pale. But I like to start with foundation just to, um, cover anything that's easily covered, and then anything that's stubborn, I'll go in with a foundation stick. Okay, so now I'm using a foundation stick. This one's by Hourglass, and I'm just gonna dab where I need extra coverage. Okay, so, I feel like I'm pretty covered, uh, a little shiny, but definitely covered. Now I'm just gonna set it with a little powder so it doesn't move. <laughs> okay. Next up is concealer. So I'm going to conceal under my eyes. I'm gonna go right here. I'm trying this new trick. I heard if you put it below your eyes, it like, doesn't sculpt your face as well. So I'm gonna try this. So it sculpts my nose and then out into the sides. Let's try it. Okay, I'm not mad at that coverage. That was YSL All Hours Concealer, which I have been using for years and I love it. Okay. I definitely feel more covered. Sorry, I was like, that light was blinding me. Um, okay, so I feel covered and matte and pretty concealed. So I'm going to do a little bit more powder under my eyes so it sets. All right, now let's go into the eyes, my favorite part. Okay, so because it's New Year's, I'm gonna go something, do something a little bit shimmery. Um, I'm gonna use this do your backstage face palette actually for a shadow. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start off with a little brush and I'm gonna do the lightest color. Just 
turning off. Whoa, you already see that sparkle. So, kind of take that up, brush it all over my eyes and definitely get a smaller brush and you're gonna wanna pop a bright highlighter in the corners of your eye because it really just brightens up your face. Okay, and now I'm also using this Dior Backstage Palette, eye palette, um, there's lots of fun colors in here. But I'm going to use this bronzy color and I'm gonna go on my eyelid. Then I'm gonna go in with the brown. This is a pretty general eye palette in the sense of if you buy like a nudie, bronzy, brown, gold palette, they should have, you know, similar colors so you don't have to buy this one, but now I'm gonna go in with this darker one just in the corners. Now I'm gonna take that little brush and I love to do under my eyes. So I'll start with a light one and then I'll just go in. Okay, so you can already see how that just like opens my eyes up. I like to just smudge it. I go lighter, darker. So lighter in the centers and then darker as I go out. Eyeshadow is all about building. You don't want to go too dark all at once and then it's just going to be crazy. So you want to really build. All right. I feel like that's looking pretty good. Now, instead of a liner, because I don't want to go too crazy, because this is an at-home look, New Year's look, holiday look, I'm going to go in on this dark brown. Actually, I want a darker brown. Dark, dark brown. See, any nude palette you could really work with, but I'm going to do a darker brown, and I'm going to just do a little flick. Use your finger to kind of smudge it up and back, so you get a little flick action. Okay, that looks pretty... Even, all right. Okay, final step for the shadow. I'm using this Scattered Light in Vivid by Hourglass. This is perfect for New Year's just because it gives you such good brightness. So I'm gonna just apply it right on the lid for a little pop of sparkle see a little sparkle for the holidays make sure it's even all right so that is my eye now i'm gonna go into my brows use this dior brow pencil you can use any brow pencil i just like to fill in fill them in a little brow gel i'm always using this little benefit brow gel just to keep all the hairs in place. Okay, brows are done. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. Very important step. Okay. I want a little bit of drama with my lashes, so I'm gonna use this Marc Jacobs. It can get a little clumpy, but... Whoa, va va boom. All right, bottom lashes. Okay. Eyes are done. Now I'm going to finish my skin, bronze it up, blush it up. All right, I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury um, contour and highlight palette. Just to bronze up, give me a little contour. I always do it in a three, like this, under the cheekbones and then under the chin. And really just Build it up as much as you want. And then if you want to do a little nose contour, I just use the same color and I kind of go down my nose. Okay, now it's time for a little blush. A little blush, I'm using Marc Jacobs Lines and Last Night Air Blush. It's got like a peachy vibe. Go super light on the blush, and I like to do it up here and not just down here. Just a hint of blush. I feel like in the winter seasons, you really need blush just to kind of like bring some life back into your face. Okay, now final step in my look is gonna be Cover FX 
Celestial um, Highlighter. This is perfect for the holidays because it literally don't need a lot. It's so bright, but luscious. Look at that. Look at that glow. A little goes a long way. Nose. Okay. My skin is done. I'm gonna do a little lip. All right, for my lip, I'm gonna do something kind of close to my natural. I don't, I usually love a red lip on the holidays, but I'm feeling like it'll be a little too extra since we're gonna be home. I'm just kind of roughly blending it in. This is Charlotte Slippery's Lip Cheat. And then I'm gonna do a gloss, but I'm gonna do this Lip Maximizer, Maximizer Collagen. It's a plumper, but it adds nice shine and brings out the natural pinkness in your lips. Wow, those are sparkling. Okay, now let's do hair. So my face is done. This is my holiday look. My eyes are sparkling. My lips are ready. Okay, so I want to curl my hair, but I want to do like a lazy half curl. Like I'm not going to curl my whole head because again, not going out for the holidays. Um, don't need to just go crazy. So I'm going to start with dry shampoo. At my roots. Gives me volume, texture. Kind of just massage it in. Now I'm gonna figure out if I wanna do middle or side part. So I want it to be perfect. Okay, so you're gonna part off your hair where you want it. I have this GHC curling wand. You can use any curling iron you're comfortable with. Oops. And I'm just gonna basically start off in the front, and I kind of have naturally wavy hair in the back, so I'm actually not gonna do too many girls in the back, but just wrap the hair around the barrel. Always wrap away from your face, um, so you don't wanna wrap it towards your face. It'll curl inward, it'll look weird. <laughs> and voila, a little curl. And now I'm just gonna basically go around the pieces by my face that you can see away from my face and then hold it for like 45 seconds and let it fall. I actually just got curtain bangs. <laughs> so I'm still kind of trying to figure out how to style them. Um, I did them a long ago because I was a little nervous and I didn't want to like just go crazy and get bangs. So do it like that, I guess. And then as I get further back, I kind of take, let me just brush that out, um, bigger chunks so that curls are less curly and they're, oops, less curly and more natural and it won't look so weird if I don't like fully curl the back of my head because it'll just be like a natural little wave. It's just like a slight, slight curl. This is lazy curling. <laughs> if I really wanted to be precise, I would just tie my hair up and go section by section. But now if you're the kind of person that your curls don't last very long, you can curl it and then, oop, curl it and then kind of pin your hair up um, with the, in the curl and let it set, let it cool off. Um, that will really help set the curls so that they last longer. They last all night, they last till midnight. Okay. So you just kind of check and see if you have like rough curls everywhere. And then I'm using the OG Elnet, which is like great hairspray, smells horrible, but it's what every major hair cell in the world uses. And it just sets things, but you can still run your fingers through it. It's not sticky. And then I'm also 
gonna use a texture spray, which if you don't have this, you can use dry shampoo, but just kind of add a little grit in your hair and add volume. This is actually a beach wave spray. So texture spray, salt spray, something that will just add a little grittiness. I like to use my finger. I love a curl for the holidays. Honestly, I'm very lazy at curling my hair otherwise. So I feel like the holidays is a good excuse and good reason for me to do that. Okay. Hair is done, makeup done. Now let's figure out an outfit. Okay, so I was rummaging through my closet and I was trying to just figure out something that I had in my closet because I didn't want to like buy something for the holidays when I'm not really doing much and don't have a lot of plans. So the key to the perfect holiday outfit for me is either color or some sort of pop of color or sparkle. So for Christmas, I usually do a, like I'll do like a black dress with a red lip or like a red bag or something that pops or a red dress, any, any sort of pop of color or sparkles. I feel like it, for me, it goes either way. It's either red for, for Christmas or sparkles. And New Year's is the same thing. Honestly, usually for New Year's, I just go either white or sparkles and I'll do like a white ensemble with like a lot of fun jewelry or I'll go full sparkles. Uh, this year being that we're gonna be home most likely or super, super low key, like no major parties or anything. Um, I don't wanna go like so crazy, but um, I actually just found like a lot of sparkly things in my closet. I have like a sparkly top that you can put with like black leather leggings, which is fun. Like I love to do, um, I actually had a sparkly blazer, which you could also pair with like a black cami, black leggings, like heels. Uh, if you're literally at your house, obviously no shoes required. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I actually found this like sparkly turtleneck uh, dress. Let me grab it for you here. Um, so I'm just gonna wear this. It's like a short velvet little dress that I can throw on and wear like little booties with, but I probably won't even wear shoes. Uh, just because I'm gonna be home, but I feel like I need an excuse to dress up and I want to look nice and like I was actually just at Party City and they had all of these like 2021 decorations like backdrops like make your own backdrops So whether with like your friend your family Friends and family whatever you're whoever you're with you can go and buy like these like fun little backdrops They have like all these little crowds so you can make magical moments at home, especially for New Year's or for the holidays, uh, whatever it is. That's why I just wanted to show you like quick, easy hair and makeup that I think took no longer than 30 minutes to do both. Um, and yeah, just dress up, do something special. Cause when you look back, you don't wanna be like, oh yeah, that was COVID year. Like did nothing, like didn't even get out of my pajamas. Like, I don't know, I wanna dress up. I wanna like take pictures, have fun. Uh, at least celebrate the new year because 2021 is definitely something we can all celebrate. So let me pop this on and I'll show you the full look. Okay, so this is my final New Year's look. It's a little short, you can't really see me, but um, super fun and honestly just putting this on is getting me in the whole New Year's vibe. I'm like, I'm excited. I mean, this new year is definitely something to celebrate. We all should be there to celebrate 2021. We need to really kick it off right. I want to start it right. I want to feel good. Have a glass of champagne. And yeah, this was again, 30 minutes hair, makeup, found my look and I feel amazing. And I feel like the best version of myself, which is definitely the most important thing and definitely the way you should be entering 2021. And I hope you enjoyed these little tips and tricks of uh, how I do my makeup, whether it's a sparkly eye or a little lip gloss or like a rough curl on my hair. I can even do my whole, my whole head, like I'm sure my back looks crazy, but whatever, <laughs> I don't care. And uh, yeah, a little sparkle in your life can have a good one. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and have the best, most amazing holiday ever.